Hey everyone, thanks for dropping by the channel. I'm Marco, and this is Exploration Gaming. Now today's video is for players who already have skills in going to dig sites and uncovering antiquities, but want some extra polish. A few tips and tricks to speed up your excavation and make sure you never, ever miss out on that gold lead. As always, if you like the content I'm bringing, I'd really appreciate a like and a subscribe. My followers are calling me the Bob Ross of ESO, and I'm trying not to disappoint or be controversial. Let's dig in, shall we? So you've got the Greymore chapter and joined the Antiquarian Circle. You've invested skill points in Antiquarian Insights. You've gone to Arteum because it's the small zone, and maybe you've even done the 100,000 gold coin slog through Tamriel. If you haven't, you should, and I'll explain all that in a beginner's guide that's coming soon. But you, you're ready to be a master digger. Hey, why not? Because Grant's like me. He's a digger. <laughs> now, here's the setup. Obviously, you need level 10 scrying and a full five skill points in antiquarian insight. Even though I'm maxed out in every category, the only one you must, must have is coalescence. This is the only ability I use when scrying, and it's all you need to find all six markers. Honestly, this part of the minigame shouldn't even exist because it's so easy, but whatever. Now let's take a peek at the excavation passives. You want to be a level 10 here as well. Now there are five passives that you need, and the rest are garbage. You need two points in handbrush, two points in auger, two points in keen eye dig sites, and two points in heavy shovel. You also need two points in keen eye treasure chests, but that passive shouldn't even be here. It belongs in the crafting constellation of champion points, but Zoss stuck it here, I think, to make sure that you bought Greymore or that you have ESO+. Plus. Sneaky Zoss. Okay, now let's dig up a gold lead for this canoe. Okay, I've checked my Antiquities Codex section, and we're going to Blackwood for this title canoe. Coalescence. We need to make sure that we cover one of these markers. At least one. I've got two. They're called Fochai. There's another one, and now a click to get this marker. That recharges, coalescence, click, one more coalescence, and that gives us all six foci. Now we always want to scry next to a way shrine because way shrines are our friends. We need to go down here. So we head off to the closest way shrine. I can do any gold lead in under three minutes using this technique. And the leads are account bound, so you really only need one character to be your digger, but all your characters will be able to find them leads. Some very respected uh, content creators are, give some really bad advice with the excavation, so I hope this guide will clear things up and be more of a template for players who are really trying to get their antiquities skills up to top notch. Now once you find the dig site, here we use the antiquarian eye, it will point us in the right direction. I like to go to the middle of the section and then use the antiquarian eye. There's the dig site glowing. I've got a couple of ads to kill really fast here. And once you find the dig site, the excavation game is really like playing Battleship. Do you remember that game? Okay, let's get into the dig site. And because it's a gold lead, it'll be hard. These, the yellow sections really you need to uncover. And I got lucky. I always start in a corner and I immediately um, hit green. So now hand brush, we're only going to use hand brush and the heavy shovel. And we're really only going to have the intuition 
which is the bar on the right, get to two. So hand brush, hand brush, heavy shovel, checking to make sure that our dirt layers are even. We want to keep as many layers together as we can. Hand brush, hand brush, heavy shovel. That's all you need to do. Now see, I've already uncovered part of the antiquity. One more piece of intuition there. Now, heavy shovel. I'm not doing these exactly right. So, hand brush, hand brush. You get to two, and then you do heavy shovel. Hand brush. One more hand brush. Heavy shovel. And now we've almost done. So, hand brush, hand brush. Heavy shovel. Hand brush. There's uncovered that part. Now this part we can just, we've got plenty of time left, so there's the lead. Now as far as bonus loot, bonus loot is completely random, so there's no point in wasting your time doing it because it's, it's exactly, it's just a waste of time. So there's my title canoe. See how easy that was? Just remember, two intuition is all you need, hand brush, hand brush, heavy shovel. And that will get you any gold lead. Now at this point in my antiquarian career, I really only dig up motifs, furnishings, and mythics that I don't have. So, what I think I'll do is go to one of my houses, and uh, we will float the boat. So here I am at uh, my northern elsewhere house. And let's go see what the canoe looks like, shall we? I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and gotten a few tips to make your antiquities journey a little bit um, clearer. Here, let me take the boat out. This is really a nice furnishing if you have a water element in one of your properties. I hope you folks have learned something today and that ESO will be just a little bit easier and more fun for you when you log into the game next time. As always, I'm Marco. Have fun, be kind to one another, and keep exploring.